30 million years ago, a giant animal that looked much like a warthog roamed the American West. <coughs> Being a carnivore, if it were around today, it might go straight for your breakfast. When it lived, it may have hunted in packs, but to see just one would be terrifying enough. Its name was Mega Chorus, or Very Big Pig. Its remarkable jaws were almost a metre long. Now imagine a, um, a pack of these guys on the Wyoming Plains 30 million years ago running through a herd of rhinos and a rhino falls over and the two giant killer warthogs go kapow, kapow, rhino haggis. Mega chorus is like no pig alive today. Kapow. Three D animators have created a life-sized robot of the animal, based on the theories of paleontologist Bob Barker. This is the warthog from hell. To call the robot Helen. Helen is an example of what we paleontologists, for a century and a half, have called giant pigs, and we call them giant pigs because this extinct family has pig-like molars, and we paleontologists were fixated about molars, fixated. Take a look at this chomper. Now that's like yours, like a person's molar or a pig molar. You find a tooth like that today in animals that eat roots and berries and nuts and acorns. So if you're fixated on molars, you'd say this is a harmless herbivore, and you'd be totally wrong, totally. To understand the truth about the killer warthog, you don't start with the front end. We start at the rear end. The hardest job you can give a gut is eating plants because to digest plant cell walls, you need a huge gut that bulges all around the rib cage. So it looks like a cow or a pig or a pony. But what do you see? You don't see that at all. Conclusion, the killer warthog ate concentrated protein rich food that means meat. Now what sort of meat did the killer warthog eat? It ate meat that tried to run away and that failed. This is how we know. A pair of hooves on each corner of the animal. The hooves are strong and compact, ideal for running and accelerating over dry woodland soils. To the hooves are attached strong, long wrists or ankles, and then up to immensely powerful shoulders and hips. This critter at a half ton or a full ton could go 40 miles per hour plus. It is the fastest big animal of its time. The skulls of these fossil warthogs are wonderful objects. And the most spectacular thing is the clue to the killing apparatus. That's this huge hole here behind the eyes. That's full of jaw muscles, the muscles that power the killing bite. And the best part, of course, the jaw joint is way in the back and faces directly downward. So when you put the jaw in like that, the jaw can open like a rattlesnake to be on a right angle. And once opened like that, these jaw muscles can snap shut, throwing the jaws together into a terrible bone crushing crack. So this killer warthog, when it snapped its jaws, could bite through a Buick. 